Hello, welcome back to the Dixie Bell YouTube channel. My name's Connie and I'm one of your Dixie Bell brand ambassadors. If you notice behind me, there's no furniture today. That's because we're not painting furniture. I am gonna do a kind of modern take on a lime wash effect wall on my staging wall behind me. I have kind of dabbled with it before. If you can see behind me, it's not a solid colour. It is kind of textured a little bit, but that is, it's not the right colour. So I'm gonna do something slightly different using Dixie Bell products and see if I can pull it off. Keep your fingers crossed for me. So, if we zoom right out, I'm walking you way back on my tripod here, you can see that this is actually a faux wall. So, I work in my conservatory, which is a sunroom attached to my house, great for natural lighting, but obviously there's a window behind here, there's mainly glass. I boarded this up so that I had a plain wall for working against filming and staging. Um, so it's obviously a little bit rough around the edges quite literally because there is there's just plasterboard over the top of a timber frame so that's what we're working with it's not a real wall not that that matters but i just thought i'd show you what it is we're working with so a lime wash wall is actually a really ancient way of decorating a wall and traditionally it would have been used with crushed limestone and then various different things added to it for pigment depending on the colour that was desired. Obviously I'm not going to be using limestone, um, I am going to be using some texture additive that I'm putting in the bucket now which is called Dixie Mud and I'm using white. So the Dixie Mud is going to give my texture and make sure that when I apply the product onto the wall, it gives me something that basically is going to move and sort of create that, that sort of texture and that tonal variation that I'm after. So for the colour, I'm going to use Terra Clay Paint in Marigold. Now, obviously I want this colour because that's why I'm using it, but you can use any colour that you want. So lime wash doesn't have to be neutral shades, you can tint it with pretty much anything that you want. So textured walls are very, very on trend at the minute and they are also fabulous if you've got a particularly old building or an old property and you have some areas that are a little bit sort of rough around the edges. So my property in particular, in fact, I use the leftover mixture that I'm mixing now and I did my bedroom wall in it which has always had problems with plaster cracking and I kind of went for it and embraced the floors. So back to the mixture but basically what I want is a very heavily sort of textured thick paint. So you can see the kind of texture that's in the bucket now, the kind of consistency. And I'll tell you exactly what I used to get my mixture. However, I did use a lot more product than what I needed. Hence the reason that I went on to put it in my bedroom because I had so much product left over and I loved the effect so much that I had enough to do a second wall and the wall is considerably larger in my bedroom as well. So in total, I used six tubs of Dixie Mud in white. I used one tub of Dixie Mud in brown and I used two tubs of Marigold Terra Clay Paint. So obviously I mixed it up really well to make sure everything was mixed in and all the colours were mixed in and I did kind of make it up a little bit as I went along. So obviously I knew I needed the mud for the texture. I wanted to use the Marigold colour to tint it with um, but it was really kind of playing around with products at this stage. So if you are doing a wall similar to mine you definitely don't need as much product as what I used and you don't have to tint it with Marigold. You could put any colour in that you wanted. Okay, now for the fun part, the application. There was no way I was doing two coats of this bad boy, so I went in very heavily with the Big Daddy brush, which is the biggest brush that Dixie Belle do, and it's perfect for painting walls, especially if you want that little bit of texture on there as well. And I'd seen a couple of videos online of how to apply sort of textured paint to give a line wash effect, and they suggest sort of 
moving it the brush in cloud sort of movements so start sort of in the center and then move your brush to the outside when you're ready and, and have sort of done that area move on to the next area but leave a little gap so that there's not too much product build up in one particular area Now I'm no decorator, but it probably would have been wise to start at the top of the wall and work my way down, but I just couldn't wait to get the paint on. And I also wanted to just make sure that it was applying in the way that I hoped it did, which it did. So um, I went back and did the top of the wall after I'd done the center. But as you can see, I'm just using those sort of outward motions, those sort of cloud motions to work my way around the wall and fill it all in. It did take a while because obviously you are working with a very thick mixture. I had to keep dipping my brush in the bucket to reapply. It's just, it's totally different to working with paint on furniture. Um, but that's why I tried it on my staging wall, just to have a little bit of fun. And here's a little bit of a close-up of how I am applying the mixture. You can see how thick it is here because I'm having to reapply the product on my brush every few strokes. Um, but I'm using quite a light hand. I'm not pressing on hard and I'm just making sure the brush moves in lots of different directions so that you don't get a real uniform look to this. Obviously, you want it as random as possible. So as you can see, I've worked in fairly small areas and that's because I didn't want it to dry too quickly before I had a chance to do this. So I got a paint scraper and it's quite a large one and basically just ran it over the surface where I just applied the paint when it was still wet. And that's just gonna help eliminate any brush strokes and give that kind of plaster look versus a paint look. So as you can see, I've worked my way all the way around the wall. I've done the top right up to the ceiling and all the way down to the baseboards as well. I'm just filling in that last bit and I can already tell by the sort of looking at it, how it's drying, I'm gonna love the outcome. So this has been dry 24 hours. I left it completely to dry. Obviously, as you can see, it's quite a lot lighter than what it was when I originally painted it. That's because terra clay paint dries lighter as it dries but then usually when you add your top coat it goes back to the color of the paint when it's wet i'm not going to use a top coat for this because it's just my staging wall um and i actually really like this color but what i am going to do i'm just going to knock down any really high peaks of the texture with a dixie bell sanding sponge and these are equivalent to a 220 grit so i just went over it in circular motions just basically, like I say, knocking down any of the sort of really higher points of the texture and just softening it all up. It also is just going to help with that kind of tonal variation and give it a much kind of softer finish. And finally, I refreshed my skirting board with Silk All in One Mineral Paint in the colour Salt Water. And this is really good for interior woodwork because it's self-leveling so you can get a nice smooth finish. It also has a built-in top coat so it doesn't need sealing and it's super durable. So staging a wall is actually quite difficult, but I did manage to get a close-up shot, which I think shows the texture quite well. I hope you like it. I absolutely love it. Like I say, so much so that I did do my bedroom wall in it as well. Here's a slightly more zoomed out shot and some furniture that I was staging at the time, just so you can get an idea of what it looks like. Thank you for watching as always, and make sure you hit the subscribe button.